Hello friends, we are going on another road trip today to the Mount St. Benedict's Abbey or Monastery. Let's start out here on the Eastern Main Road and look at that pink Pui tree flowering. I wanted to start there, look at how the flowers are dropping on the sidewalk pavement. If you haven't seen it, I have a video exclusively on the pink Pui. Make sure to check it on my YouTube channel, JB's Man Cave. So, like I said, we are on the Eastern Main Road. We are heading east and soon we will turn on St. John's Road. This area is called St. Augustine. It's just before Tunapuna. You can see it there on the map. Now, interestingly enough, according to Google Maps, the Abbey, the monastery, is within St. Augustine as far as I can read. But I see on some sites, government sites, heritage sites, they list it as Tunapuna. I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, we are turning left here. This is St. John's Road. Uh, this road will take you all the way to the Abbey. Do you see those buildings on the mountain where the arrow is pointing? That's the monastery. Now one of the first things I recognized when I turned on this road, besides that one glitch there, is the road is more or less well paved and maintained with actual white lines on it. Road markings. Here there are some potholes here and there but compared to other places I have been if you've seen some of my videos the roads here are not too bad now this area St. Augustine is um, more or less a residential area to the left is more of the well to do and the further up we go, less well to do. Housing in Trinidad is mm -hmm. kind of um, funny compared to other areas in the world. You get patches of well to do's or well to do's mixed with not so well to do people. So you may get a big grand house, and right next to it, a person that doesn't even maintain their house. Now you may not be able to tell well, but we are ascending this mountain. There's another Pui on the right. It's a gradual ascent until we reach Mount St. Benedict's Road. And you, you will know when we reach there because it's a sharp turn and it immediately starts to go into a, a steep incline. Now the, the monastery, interestingly enough, was started, I believe, in 1912 by some monks that came from another abbey in Brazil. So as you can see, you know, Trinidad and Tobago is a melting pot of different cultures, nationalities, races, and so forth. So these uh, monks came from Brazil and they started this abbey. And... Uh, bless the land according to their rights and up to the day it's still maintained I don't know exactly how many monks still live there but there are some now the trip to here is a trip that a lot of schools make when I used to go to school in Trinidad I've been up here at least twice as a pupil. Normally, we'd come up here and look around, maybe attend the church that's there, because most of the schools I went to were Catholic. Or maybe just, you know, take in the surroundings, the peace, and so forth. 
there are guest houses and so on up there hikes that you can also do when I came on the school trips we would go on a hike in this road trip we won't be going on a hike but we will be looking at the abbey and other surroundings now this is Mount St. Benedict's road and you can see how steep the incline is we go slow and on the left you can see as we climb how everything at ground level begins to get very small unlike most areas that you would visit Mount St. Benedict is well maintained more or less clean free from litter and debris and limers and so forth and sometimes you know when I come up here I almost feel like I'm in a different country it's just so nice so peaceful if you're a Catholic it would be very serene and sacred for you you can see a bit of the east on your left don't worry we will get some good shots later in this video it's one of the churches on the right you can't see too well on the, the lens the other beautiful thing about being up here is the mountains you get to see a lot of the valleys, the mountain ridge you know videos it doesn't really describe how nice it is the fresh air, the breeze, you can see how the trees sway it's a very strong breeze in the air and I don't know about you but and I have, have not been to Italy yet but from watching pictures I sometimes look at this and feel like if I'm on a mountainside of some Italian countryside place you'll see that especially when I bend around this corner the way it is just reminds me of maybe something I would have seen about Italy If you go straight, that will take you to the hike. I'm going to come back here and walk all along here so that you get an idea. And this is the part I was saying that almost reminds me like being somewhere in Europe, Italy, whatever. How it's on the mountain sides and you're driving up the mountain. And when you see this, you know you're close to the abbey. And this is the parking lot. So I'm going to park here. Reverse park. And then I'm going to take out my lens, my extension rod, and give you the view that you would see if you were here. And that's what JB's Man Cave is about, helping you to see things in a way that you may not have seen before, but also keeping it real. You know, not editing, not putting myself in front of the camera, but giving you, giving you eyes through my lens. If you're on a big screen, you would have seen that bird just swaying in the wind. 
This is one of the first things you see when you reach to the Abbey. Don't worry, I will be showing the actual surroundings on the grounds later. But usually I like to come right here. This is a valley. And it's really breathtaking to look at this. It's so peaceful. The smell of the nature and the fresh air is really good. And the surroundings, by the way, are sacred in nature. So people here are whisper quiet. There's usually, you know, a chapel church going on. And now you get to see all the buildings up here. I'm going to go 360 so that you get an idea of everything. And of course, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to become a patron of JB's Man Cave. You can always visit my website and donate whatever you feel is worthy of these videos. I don't do this for me in particularly but for my boys on the spectrum. Alright, let's so let's begin to walk around a bit. And as you know at JB's Man Cave there's no rush. The idea here is for you to get a feel. I mean, if you were here, you wouldn't be running up and down looking at stuff. You would be going at this pace. And going slow allows you to pick up more than what you would have otherwise seen if you were just running through things or seeing an edited video. By keeping it more or less real, ground level, as unedited as possible, helps you to um, get a picture of the area. So a beautiful Bougainvillea. Sometimes too, when I am um, recording, the, the elements of people walking up and down, and it doesn't allow me to go too close, so I try to pan as much as possible, so the focus is on the people but the surroundings. By the way, there's no fee to come up here. This is all free. Unlike most of the things in Trinidad, you want to come up here and look, it's all free. You don't have to pay a fee and there's no restriction. Nobody tells you, oh, you can't record that, you can't film this, you can't whatever. You know, it's a, it's a welcoming place. It's one of the few places in Trinidad that you really feel welcome and you can feel at peace and you can just relax. So we're going to descend a bit and as we descend we will take in more of the surroundings, more of the vegetation. And having an extension rod as long as mine is allows you to get really close I and mean, I wouldn't be able to get so close to these trees it makes you think these trees are short but they are very tall and they're very far away. But the rod has pushed the camera right next to it, close to it, or beyond where I could go. It would may actually make you feel sometimes like I'm climbing the tree.
It's a beautiful bird there. On the left, or straight ahead I should say, that area would probably be Tunapuna. Maybe Trin City. Tagarigua, those areas. Probably you can see St. Helena too. Now my father once stayed at this monastery and no he was not a monk but he had a problem with drinking he liked to drink a lot and he came here and stayed a couple months I believe as a way to help him try and recover he always talked about it as being very peaceful but he said the monks never talked and he wasn't allowed to talk they would sing and what not but it was a time for him to get a lot of meditation and reflect I guess Straight in the center of your screen, or we just passed it. But as I pan back, you'll may probably pick it back up. See that um, smoke rising on the right of your screen there, going up in the air? Those are bushfires. And later in the day, I actually went more or less to that area and have some other video footage that I won't show here in this video, but in another video. That's something we get a lot especially during the dry season there it is in the screen to the right now it's heading to the center you can see the smoke and if you're driving through that sometimes it can be like going through fog I love the foundation of this place it's massive very strong and I just love how the area is kept so clean and neat. And if I stay in a place for a while, it's the idea again is unlike other videos, it's to reflect, take in things that you may not have noticed. So I may go silent some for some of the time and just let you look. In case you're wondering, we're looking at the south of Trinidad. It's not as mountainous as the north.
if you're a bird lover, you would love Trinidad and Tobago. Just such a variety of birds and they come so close sometimes and sing the beautiful melodies. Uh, the kind of camera I have, I can't zoom into it, so I can only hope that they come to me. I'm using a GoPro, and with GoPros, you're allowed, you know, the way it focuses, you can see everything in focus. So something close, like that stop sign, is sharp, while the building on the mountain uh, also remains sharp. That's the unique thing about GoPro cameras. And I'm not an agent for GoPro, but I'm just saying you could see everything sharp at once. But with other, uh, you know, video cameras, you 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 more or less have to zoom. If you want that zoom feature, some things have to be out of focus, and I don't care for that too much. So that's why I haven't gone that way. But I may have to get one for other applications, especially like bird watching. I'm using natural songs here and if it songs like if somebody's blowing into the mic it's because the wind is fairly strong sometimes and I'm not using a buffering or a sponge or anything to help mitigate that mostly because I have a stabilizer and it needs freedom So from here we're looking out probably what would be Mount Hope, Valsin, Bamboo, and again showing you how the GoPro, look at how we could go straight into this, see this big black bachak. And yet still everything behind, if you notice, is also sharp. That's the way I like to take my videos too. You, you know, if you were walking here, you wouldn't just pick up everything that looks beautiful, but you would pick up everything that isn't so beautiful. But like, again, I want to give you the view of you know what if you were there this is what you would see In this direction, you would be looking at Mount Hope, San Juan, and you can actually, well, it's actually pointing towards Shokonas, but with all of that smoke, you wouldn't be able to see it. And folks, feel free to subscribe subscriptions are free some people think that by me saying subscribe I'm saying pay for something I'm not asking to pay for anything to subscribe just means you click that button that says subscribe 
and when you subscribe all it does is lets you know that you are a fan of JB's man cave and that you would get notifications of new videos as they come out if it asks you to log in it just wants you to log in to your gmail account you need a gmail account which is also free gmail is a mail facility and once you have a gmail account you can subscribe I have lots of other stuff on JB's man cave covering all the areas of Trinidad and some of them are walking like this some of them are road trips it depends and I have a lot of what's called let's watch videos which is me simply staying in one area and watching like a street a park a tree you know things that you would let normally take in if you were there but you don't have the opportunity because you're abroad or you're elsewhere or you're busy you can continue watching I am going to allow you to see the rest of the Abbey with some peaceful music can meditate and when we begin to drive again I will come back
So we are continuing on the road trip. We're going back down the mountain. As we do so, you will get a different angle on everything. But we are not going to go down St. John's Road. We are going to take a different road. It's a Tunapuna Road. It's kind of like an extra bonus. If you keep watching this video, you will be able to see some of Tunapuna. I have other videos on Tunapuna, but I thought you might like to get an idea of what's connected to the area around the Abbey. So continue to look and you'll be able to see everything. Just going down the mountain is a beautiful tour in itself because as you do you get to see the trees, the flowers, but especially the mountain sides. Going up doesn't look the same as going down. And if you see us stop a bit, it's because we're taking in the scenery. I thought they would have more pink puis. We passed a couple of them back there, but there aren't many here at the moment. Probably they have other colors. Because the with the poo is the each each color seems to come out at a different time. Right now we're in the pink season. It must have been something huh, for those monks from Brazil to come all the way up here and start building. Could you imagine the amount of effort it would have taken to bring materials, build and whatnot? They probably didn't have such a nice paved road to work with. Right, so I think this, this we're back on St. John's Road, and at some point here we're going to turn left. I think that's fair few drive, and that'll take us to Tunapuna Road. Tunapuna Road is the back of Tunapuna. It starts out with the residential area, and then 
um, goes into the more commercial side. Most people know an area of its commercial side. The interesting thing about these road tours as well is it's new for me because you know I would not normally come in areas like this back here mostly because I have no reason to but sometimes you miss some really nice stuff I like looking at trees, flowers, nature on the whole. And unfortunately you have to have trash too. So you, you can always know you're out of Mount St. Benedict's area because you start seeing trash again. The area is unkept. People like to dump stuff here. And it's so unfortunate because the country is so beautiful and it just will not keep it clean. Look how much trash is littered on both sides of the road. Now, you know, if this was a tourist video or made for tourists, the video would have been edited and kept back. You know, as soon as we reached Mount St. Benedict's Road's end, we would have cut right there and say, you know, wow, this is Mount St. Benedict. But again, JB's Man Cave is about giving you the raw. So you're seeing all that's around the area. The good, the bad, the ugly. So we're on Tunapuna Road and we are heading south. We'll go all the way to Jackman and then we will look at the surrounding area. So you can keep looking at this video. Go all the way if you want to see the rest of Tunapuna and then I'll be going down the Eastern Main Road and a little bit into St. Augustine and then we'll end it there. But Keep on looking if you'd like to see the area. I always appreciate you watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, let your friends know, your family know about JV's Man Cave. I have a immediate goal to reach 10,000 subscribers. Right now I believe I'm around 4,500. Which is pretty good. I appreciate your support but we need to reach 10,000. So do subscribe and let your friends do as well. Thanks for watching. Keep watching to see the rest of Tunapuna.